Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iDevice running iOS 5 Beta 1. This jailbreak is available for all devices running iOS 5 Beta 1 with the exception of the iPad 2, which is still awaiting an iOS 4 jailbreak. Uh, I should note that this iOS 5 jailbreak is really for developers who have stuff in Cydia because everything in Cydia at this point is broken and for a user it's not really going to be useful. But nonetheless I will be showing you how to do it in this video. You should, I should also note that if you are relying on an unlock you should not do this because your baseband will be updated permanently and you will lose uh, any unlock that you had had previously and you will have to wait until the iPhone dev team comes out with a new one which will probably be a long time from now. So your, the first thing you want to do is head over to the iPhone dev team blog. I will provide a link in the description. And head down here to the bottom and download the Red Snow for Beta 1 for Mac. This is not available for Windows users at the moment. I am sorry, but there is no uh, application for you. So once you have downloaded it, you can go ahead and open up the file here. And open up the Red Snow application. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of all these other programs. Uh, you'll also want to have your iOS 5 Beta 1 um, IPSW file handy. I put mine on the desktop where it is easily accessible because the first step you're going to have to do is locate that file and it will process the firmware. Once it is done you can go ahead and press next and it will prepare the jailbreak data. Once it is done with that, you can choose any additional options that you want for your device here. I'm just going to go ahead and choose the install city option and nothing else. And go ahead and press next. So at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and connect it, your device to your Mac and make sure it is turned off like I have done here. And at this point, you can go ahead and press next and we will prepare to put our device into DFU mode. So the first step is to hold down the power button for 3 seconds. Hold down the power and home button for 10 seconds. and then go ahead and release the power button and continue holding the home button and then you will see a uh, screen comes up that says exploding with lime rain and you'll know that it is jailbreaking your device and all you have to do is just wait for this uh, process to complete so once your device has rebooted and finished the jailbreak process you will now have a Cydia icon Unfortunately, uh, when you try and open it, it will not open, it will just simply close out. That is because this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning that every time our device reboots, we will need to rerun Red Snow. So let's go ahead and open it up. We're basically going to go through the exact same process that we did when we jailbroke our device. So we're basically going to find the firmware again and go ahead and go through the same process. This time you're going to uh, just simply check just boot tethered right now and not choose the install Cydia because we've already done that. And now basically you're going to follow the exact same steps that you did previously. So once again you're going to want to go ahead and plug your device back into your computer and then go ahead and turn it off. And then we will go ahead and put it into DFU mode. I will remind you of those instructions here again. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hold down the power button for 3 seconds. Hold down the home and power button for 10 seconds. And then go ahead and release the power button and continue holding the home button. And then it will go through the exploit with Lime Rain again, and then we will see what happens when it is done with this. And once you have made it to the done screen once again, you will now see the Cydia icon, and you can go ahead and press it. And as you can see, it actually runs now, so we can go ahead and choose user, because that's what I am. Press done. And there you have it. That is how to jailbreak your iOS device running the iOS 5 Beta 1. Once again, this is highly recommended just for developers only because nothing really works at this point. And once again, it is a tethered jailbreak, so every time you turn off your device, you're going to need to rerun the Red Snow application like we have done in this video. So that pretty much wraps everything up. 
thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you. Leave a comment below if you have any trouble, and like the video, and subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.